All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back and check out the screen right here. Take a look at the left where it says multiplayer. Map pack mosh pit. Why is it showing in the map pack mosh pit a picture of Arsenal? It's not even Arsenal Sandstorm, it's regular Arsenal. That's not a DLC map. And look at the homie crash. That's the action shot you show. My man looks like he's ready to fall asleep. I mean, come on, Treyarch. Are you serious? That <laughs> That's the action shot you show? A dude laying prone looking like he's trying to fall asleep? Bro, unbelievable, man. Treyarch just don't care anymore, fellas. Let's face it. They just don't care. Anyway, man, so I'm playing on this DLC map. Uh, whatever the hell the name of it is. I don't know. I think this is maybe only the fourth or fifth time in my life I've ever even played on this map. Because uh, Activision or somebody made the bonehead decision to not give everyone the maps for free. Uh, to be honest, this is probably the best DLC map that I've played on. All the other DLC maps are pretty terrible. They have, like, no flow whatsoever. This map right here has got a nice little flow to it. I really like this DLC map, which is shipped with the game, man. And I'm so glad Modern Warfare is not going to charge people for maps, map packs, because all it does is split up and fracture the community even more. It's just a terrible, terrible thing to do. Uh, they're going to make their money some other way. They'll probably have all kinds of microtransactions and stuff, which, you know what, man, I'm fine with, dude. Make your money. But just put all the players on the same map. Stop splitting up the damn fan base, man. I'm so glad that Call of Duty will never charge people for maps ever again. Uh, but anyway, guys, getting to what I want to talk about in this commentary. You see I'm using the demon right here. And I'm using it now before it gets nerfed. That's right, the demon, the switchblade, and the mog all catching a nerf on Tuesday. And you know what? I'll put it up on the screen right here, fellas. Check it out. One of my subscribers sent this over to me on Twitter. One of my followers on Twitter. I uh, don't know exactly who it was. Uh, oh, yeah, Elenis. So shout out to this dude right here, Elenis901. He sent me this. It says, uh, commented by Treyarch Official. Coming Tuesday, we'll be reducing the damage ranges on the demon, the switchblade. <laughs> really? You got nerfed the switchblade? Why? I mean, the demon's kind of OP, I guess. But, I mean, it, the demon melts people the way people should be melted in a Call of Duty game, man. I don't know why they're going to nerf it. Switchblade getting nerfed and the MOG catching a nerf. Reducing the Dragon's Breath Operator mod's damage on the MOG-12. I mean, damn, bro. I mean, it sucks to see any guns get nerfed in this game because the time to kill is already super frustrating. But if any gun in this game needs to catch a nerf, let's face it, dude. The MOG is OP as hell. See, I'm not like the delusional snipers, man. I can admit when a gun is OP as hell. The MOG is definitely OP as hell. It disintegrates people. But I can't do it from any range. I have to get kind of close to people to do it. Speaking of snipers, look at this cheese. Whoa, what the hell? I just got insta-melted by that thing. Why did that register as a headshot? He was shooting me in the stomach. <laughs> Dude, this game drives me crazy, bro. This game, yo, the gunfights in this game. I mean, how did I even kill this guy? I shot him through a brick wall. Dude, the gunfights in this game are so damn bizarre. I know I hate on COD Ghost a lot, but damn it, COD Ghost had some of the best hit detection ever. Can you imagine if this game had COD Ghost's hit detection with, like, the uh, COD Ghost XL time to kill? Oh, my word. Remember when they had the COD Ghost XL lobby? When they gave people a little more health. Because let's face it, the base time to kill in COD Ghost was way too fast. The XL Lobby was much better. Uh, if this game had that kind of hit detection and, and damage, oh man. This game could have been great. It really could have been great. And if they had COD World War II supply drop system, oh man. With the free maps every month like it should have been from launch. That's all this game had to do, bro. Better hit detection like COD Ghost. Better time to kill. And COD World War II contract, the supply drop system. And a one free map every month, no Black Ops Pass. This map, this game could have been fantastic. This game could have been one of the best CODs ever, man. It wouldn't even take that much just if they just did those three things. That's all. So, I mean, dude, I'm having fun with this demon, man. And this uh, reactive camo I got on it, too, is incredible. It goes with this gun so well. I mean, look at that. I love the reactive camo, bro. The hell we're grinding for Dark Matter, son. <laughs> this camo is lit. Uh, another thing, dude, Hacienda Twilight. We're getting another map variant. Hacienda Twilight is coming. 
Uh, hopefully we'll be getting Mercenary Team Deathmatch back on Tuesday also. And I mean, Treyarch, can you just make Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit permanent? For the love of God, just make Mercenary permanent, damn it. <laughs> I don't know why they keep bringing Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit in and out of the game. It's so stupid, dude. The things they do is so dumb in this game, bro. And look at this guy right here, man. I couldn't even see him. He had the default uh, Prophet skin on up against that rock, my old ass. I couldn't even see him. I thought it was a shadow. I was like, what is that? So I was way too late aiming at him. And uh, yeah, my eyesight is terrible, bro. <laughs> my eyesight, I have a hard time spotting people in this game, especially when they wear the bland outfits. So that's a tip and trick I could give to anybody. I know they put all, yeah, I mean, I guess they have a few cool skins in this game, but your best bet is to probably be as wear a dull an outfit as possible. Ooh, there's that insta-melt vendetta sniper again. Yo, I was in the lobby the other day with a dude who was running around with a vendetta sniper. I thought it was a rampage at first. He was hip-firing the hell out of that thing. I was just getting insta-melted. The dude was running around hip-firing the vendetta rapid-fire like the rampage shotgun. I'm like, bro, what kind of broken-ass sniper is this? <laughs> Treyarch can't even tell the difference between a sniper and a shotgun anymore. I mean... Let's face it, they're pretty much the same exact thing, man. The snipers are the best shotguns in the game. Uh, this Vendetta Sniper, I'm telling you, man, it's starting to hit the lobby. A lot of people are starting to hit Tier 50 and unlock this cheese. Wait until you guys see this, man. This is a frustrating game for me. I tell you what, man, I used the Demon this match. I mean, I don't know. It, don't, it didn't really feel incredibly OP to me. I had a couple of really frustrating deaths in this game. Oh, my God. Yo, this Vendetta be melted. What? This vendetta be insta melting people, son. What the hell? Ooh, right in the booty. All right, so it looks like this thing's an insta melt to the head, but the headshot hit detection on, on this gun is really, really weird. Anyway, so let's get back to the mog here, man. That vendetta sniper rifle. Oh, bro. Between the vendetta and the ballistic knives, dude, the amount of random weird ass insta deaths you're going to have in this game is just going to skyrocket, dude. And people ask me all the time, like every video, like, Thunder, how are you still playing this game, man? I told you guys, the shotguns make this game fun for me. I'm curious to see just how much of a nerf the MOG's actually going to catch. I bet you the MOG will still be slapping people even after the nerf. But, I mean, dude, as of right now, I think we could all agree this is probably one of the most OP guns in the game, especially with Barrel Choke, Long Barrel, Rapid Fire, and the Dragon's Breath Operator mod. You put those four attachments on this gun... Oh my goodness. I mean, look at it. It slaps. It just melts people, and it's just so satisfying getting those one-shot kills. You know what I'm saying, dude? I just love it, man. I just I like this gun because it works, damn it. But now they're going to nerf it. Uh, I mean, if it was up to me, none of these guns in this game would ever catch a nerf. Everything would get buffed. I want a faster time to kill in this game. Not, I don't want it to be harder to kill people. I don't want to see weapons getting nerfed, dude. They should have never nerfed anything in this game. Just buff everything else, but... I don't know. Weapon balance seems to be like Pandora's box with these guys. Like, they could just never get it right. I mean, look at this. Look at the Dude. The MOG is just so fun, bro. It's People ask me why I shotgun in this game. Dude, just look at it. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> this is amazing, dude. I love the shotguns in this game. <laughs> it's so much fun. Even the Rampage. Everything's good, really. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to continue to shotgun in Modern Warfare. Uh, fellas, I have no idea if I'm going to still shotgun Modern Warfare. I haven't played the game. Have no idea what it's going to be like. We haven't even seen any multiplayer other than the two screenshots of uh, the sniper camping and the juggernaut kill streak. That's all we've seen. So, I mean, they haven't announced any beta. They haven't announced when we're going to see a multiplayer trailer. Nobody knows nothing. The dudes over at Infinity Ward said they'll show us multiplayer footage when they're ready. Obviously, they ain't ready yet. The game's dropping in like three months. So, I mean, dude, I'm a little concerned, man. I'm a little concerned for the future of Call of Duty, fellas, honestly. After what I've seen Treyarch shit the bed this year, and then we've got Infinite Warfare, I mean, uh, Infinity War. They're not ready to show us multiplayer th three months from launch. They pull up to E3 with a, with a couple of screenshots. You got everybody else show. Ooh, get dookied on King Dookie. That's what's up, son. <laughs> you got everybody else pulling up to E3 with hours and hours of footage for games coming out even later. Than Modern Warfare, and they they pull up with two screenshots, screenshots. <laughs> I mean, Black Ops Three, we had a beta in the middle of August. I mean, we probably won't even see multiplayer until September with these guys. And then in COD 2021, you've got Treyarch back up to the plate again. After what I've seen them do this year, 
I mean, I still can't believe that Sledgehammer Games got demoted, man. After they turned COD World War II around the way they did. I don't know, man. The future of COD is looking pretty shaky, fellas. That's all I can say. What do you guys think about the nerfs? Drop it down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like and share it. All that good stuff. Thank you guys all so much for the support. And also, we should be getting weapon contracts on Tuesday, man. So... Hopefully, I get myself that peacekeeper before this game's life cycle ends. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.